What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Foregone. We have an insane sneak peek, something that a lot of us have been waiting for, and you guys might have already guessed about who it's about, right? We got Scarlet Witch, we got Doctor Strange, we got American Chavez, and this looks absolutely insane, guys. Let me go ahead and drop this music off and watch this. This, this is freaking amazing. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, a movie that I know I'm highly anticipating, and I know many of you are as well, because this looks absolutely nuts. Oh, let's talk about this trailer, guys. This is so cool. So, first of all, I love the breaking glass. That is just awesome and then you got what looks like wanda's chaos magic kind of surrounding it uh really really cool and then if you notice throughout this entire trailer they show all the previous uniforms for all three of these characters i mean this is pretty lit right this is dr strange newest uh uniform this is his original look right here right and here's the uniform that he actually got in between. I mean, a lot of detail in this trailer. Really beautiful, actually. I love it. I love the sound of the glass breaking. And then, of course, you got all these different versions of Wanda, right? You got her over here and this one here. I mean, just so freaking cool. Oh, my God. And Wanda, waifu. And then you got American Chavez, right? And something that's nice about all three of these characters is that they all have tier threes and awakened skills. They're already there, right? So we know when we get these uniforms for these characters that we can immediately take them into World Boss Legend, uh, maybe even make them competitive in Timeline Battle. Whatever the case may be, we can actually use them in our in-game content, which is nice, guys. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. And these new looks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up now. These new looks are amazing looking. They really changed American Chavez's face, at least, uh, you know, on this picture here. She looks very different. I like the blue jean jacket. That's pretty nice. Uh, you can see Scarlet. I mean, Scarlet's going to wear pretty much something similar to what she already has in the game, especially compared to her newest uniform, but still lovely. Doctor Strange has that. Like, his look is completely different, right? You got the nice gray hairlines there. That was a really cool. Man, he looks sick. Oh, my God. I mean, this looks awesome, guys. This looks lit. And I cannot wait for this, guys, because the truth is, like, I mean, Scarlet right now, I mean, she's actually an ABX meta. People do use her, but some people just prefer to use Thena. I mean, it's, it's really a matter of opinion. But, man, like, I just want this girl to be stronger. That's all I want. I just want her to be good in World Boss Legend because she's okay right now, right? But if she had a new uniform, maybe you could push her over, right? Push her to the top or make her really, really great for it. I mean, she is uh, considered a, you know, she's a superhero female, but allies is other, right? It's kind of sucks that they never could make her a mutant, but it is what it is, right? But she like really needs i mean she's a good character she really is but i mean she needs a little love guys she needs a little love i mean maybe they'll make her better for abx maybe they'll you know really i just hope i mean i mean you know what actually if you look at her accumulation here it's 0.4 percent so please god give her like you know 1.2 Honestly, Wanda deserves the 1.5 treatment because this is easily one of the most powerful characters in all of Marvel. And in the MCU, Kevin Feige even said that she is the most powerful of all of them. So she really should get one hell of an upgrade, at least in my opinion. Such a beautiful character. So awesome. And then American Chavez, who really, you know, whenever she got her wicked skill, she didn't really make too much of a splash. Uh, she really just ended up being, you know, more of an AC character uh, due to her ignore iframe. Yeah, on her third skill, this really helped her survivability a little bit. I think she has a heal. Yeah, she got 20% recovery heal here. She had a nice increased basic attack. I mean, it was a big upgrade from what she previously had, which was crap, but she never really amounted to anything, unfortunately, right? Just ended up being an AC character. And I would like her to be, you know, like if she was a really good support, uh, because she is in the multiverse of madness, obviously. It'd really be awesome if she was a support, like say for Doctor Strange, for Scarlet Witch, or really for just all allies. That would be pretty dope 
or they just made her a really good character and can actually get it done. I mean, we'll see if they do that or not. I mean, it's hard telling with Net Marble. Sometimes they'll take a character that isn't as popular as others and make them super powerful. Sometimes they won't. So, I mean, it's hard to say what they're going to do with her, but just make her, you know, a more useful character, right? Because all she really is right now is just a AC character. And then we get into Doctor Strange, who really should be godly as well. I mean, him and Scarlet really are the two most powerful characters in Marvel, at least in my opinion. Well, for the most, I can't say it completely, but they're very, very strong. And, you know, guys, every time we get Doctor Strange uniforms, I always bring up the fact that, you know, you got to spam his skills and he's very boring to play because of it, right? Spam, 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 right? And I honestly can't stand it because I feel like he's just so boring to play. Sorry, buddy, not right now. Is just so boring to play, but I love Doctor Strange. Now, more than likely, now some of you, you know, you're actually would disagree and you want him to keep the spamming. Either way, as long as he's stronger, I don't care, right? If he's a freaking monster, I don't care. Uh, one thing about him right now that does make him a little annoying to play, I mean, it's not too bad because you can actually use his tier three very, very quickly. You can charge it up super, super fast because of the way he spams. But he only gets invincibility or super armor from doing his tier three, right? That's kind of the thing that sucks. Uh, whereas, you know, through his regular skills, he can get guard broken and thrown back by Null every once in a while, which is kind of annoying. And this character does have a really good leadership. So it'd be awesome if they buffed up his leadership as well. And I don't think, I don't think he has any accumulation whatsoever. If I remember correctly, uh, he doesn't have any at all. I mean, Doctor Strange actually is a pretty good character even now, but yeah, I mean, give him some accumulation. Honestly, I, I, something different would be pretty awesome, right? I mean, they might give that the ignore boss damage decrease uh, that would work really good for PvP. Maybe they'll give him a PvP uniform. I mean, it's hard telling, guys. Personally, I want him to be for PvE, but you guys know how I am. I'm more PvE-oriented, but if they make him really good for PvP, that'd be great as well. Damn, I need to jack up my ignore defense. But being a human male, he really fits the requirements a lot and blast and against Null, which is a big reason why I'm hoping they make him very, very strong, very, very good. I mean, those uniforms look absolutely amazing. And now for the bummer regarding this update, because this update looks absolutely amazing, and it's going to be amazing, I'm hoping. But here's the bummer, guys. Where's the Tier 3 for Green Goblin? Now, I'm praying to God that Netmarble's like either going to give us a late Tier 3 or something, right? They need to give this guy a, a tier three. Absolutely. And I'm not trying to put salt on anything, guys. I'm not trying to be salty about anything, but this character should get a tier three. If they only allow him to be a tier two and give him this godly, amazing uniform, that would be an absolute travesty. They've got to give this guy a tier three. I mean, when you look at my build, guys, when you look at this terrible, terrible, god-awful build, right, with no woo-woos, right, stage 5 power of Angry Hulk set, 140% prog, right, legendary uniform. When you look at this crappy butt uniform, right, but then you see what he can do in regular world boss, but also what he can do in ABX. This character is nutty. Like, my build is terrible, right? Look at the damage that this guy does. So we'll just do the very first part of this phase, even though he does have burn, right? But watch this. This is crazy. There we go. There we go. There we go. I mean, these are some insane numbers for a character that has this kind of build. Just nutty. Look at this crap. I mean, I could use his leadership, by the way, now that I think about it. I mean, look at that, guys. He already hit a million in 30 seconds. And just you could just keep the prop where it belongs the whole time. Just nutty, nutty, right? There we go. First phase, guys, he did 1.6 million. And the screen froze, which is really no surprise in my emulator, but 1.6 million with this terrible, terrible build that he has. That is absolutely bonkers. So please, Netmarble, don't drop the ball on our guy, Green Goblin. Please don't. 
give him something so we can use him in World Boss Legend and use him in our in-game content. That is just absolutely nuts. But aside from that, guys, this update, like for these three characters, looks absolutely nuts, man. I'm so excited, man, especially for big time waifu here, Scarlet. Looking forward to Doctor Strange, American Chavez. Just looks insane. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the sneak peek and the fact that they haven't showed us anything for Green Goblin. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody